All right, hosses, welcome back. And in this video, I'm gonna to talk to you about the map function in Python. So the map function is basically a way that you can take a list, whatever it is, you know, a list of foods, of names, of numbers, and you can run each item in that list through a function really easily. So let's go ahead and make a simple list. I'll just say income. So this list is how much money I make, and I'll say the first week of work I made $10, the second week I made 30 bucks, and the last week I made 75 bucks. All right, so now I have a list of stuff, but I also have this function, and I'm just gonna make this function really simple to demonstrate, you know, because we aren't really learning about functions or anything complex. I just wanna demonstrate the map function. So all this function is going to do is it's going to take each of these items and multiply them by two. So double your money. So we're going to pass in dollars, which is each item in the list. And we're just going to return. Okay. There we go. Return dollars multiplied by two. All right. So what we can do is we can make a for loop. So for items in income, and then we can do this, yada, yada, tomato, tomato, but there's actually an easier and more efficient way. So what we can do is actually call the map function. Now the map function takes two parameters. The first one is what function are you gonna run all of your items through? Well, it's just double money. Now we don't have any parameters, and the second function is, all right, what is the list that you want to iterate through? Well, we only have one list, which is this, so do that. So what this is going to do is it's going to go through this list, and for each item, 10, 30, 75, it's going to run it through this function. Now, if we just run this right now, it's not going to show anything because we don't have any output. So let me just go ahead and... Uh, I'll generate like new income equals list map. All right, looking good. So I basically am gonna run through this, multiply each of these values by two, so we end up with 20, 60, and 150, and then I'm just gonna take all of those values and convert them to a list so we can print it out. So print new income, and there you go. So now you see 20, 60, and 150. Now again, you can also do this with a for loop. So just say for item in income, and then you can do it that way. But this is a much easier way in my opinion, and it's a lot more compact so it doesn't clutter up all your code. So there you go, that is what map is, basically taking some kind of iterable and running it through a function, boom roasted, see you next time.